Hey you guys, Erin and Max and Liv here and welcome back to Eat and Rest. We are in the kitchen today. We are going to be making a super simple and so delicious two ingredient burger recipe. Hope you never have to leave. We're all friends and family. Come on in and open the door. Every creed, every age, every color, every sister and mother and brother. Everybody's got a seat at the table. Everybody's welcome here. Making smiles every year. Everybody's welcome here. Come on, come on. Everybody's welcome here. Love is where we go. So you could spend a lot of time chopping and slicing and dicing all of these veggies, onions, garlic, beets. But a lot of times, if we want it to be simple and quick, or if we're at my parents' house in Nebraska and we are limited on ingredients, we want something easy to throw together, this is where it's at. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a food processor, two cans of black beans, one cup of rolled oats, salt and pepper to taste, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of Sun Warrior beetroot powder, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is great for protein, iron, and naturally occurring B vitamins. Sun Warrior has so many helpful options. We love the beetroot powder. It gives it that slightly reddish tint. They also have a sea salt. They have a bunch of functional mushroom powders. We use their organic plant-powered proteins on a daily basis for everything from smoothies, smoothie bowls, baked goods. You could honestly even add the unflavored into these bean burgers and other delicious recipes if you wanted to. So be sure to check out the discount code below for 20% off and 30% off bundles and subscriptions. So now we're going to pulse until the black bean burgers are chunky, not pureed. If they feel like they're too dry or they're not sticking together, that's when this black bean liquid would come in handy to add as needed. And also if they're too wet and too sticky, you can add in extra rolled oats until you get the desired texture and consistency. I have also gotten messy and used my hands to mash the beans at my parents' house. I would blend the oats, mix in the beans, and just squish and mash until I got a good patty formed out of them. So if you don't have a food processor, you can get messy as well. Look at that nice reddish hue. But it might be a little wet. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have lined a baking sheet with parchment. I have a little bowl of water here. If I am forming any type of patty with my hands, I like to keep a little water on hand and it keeps it from sticking to your hands. So you just give it a little dip, get your hands nice and moist, and we are going to make our patties. This should make at least eight, but it's going to depend on what size patty you're making. I don't like them to be too small or too big. So this is actually really a perfect consistency right here. And that Sun Warrior beet powder really did the trick to give it the perfect hue. As they bake, it's gonna look even better. Beets are also high in iron, so it's going to give it a nutrient profile similar to red meat without all of the inflammatory side effects. The beans also contribute iron and protein. The oats as well, surprisingly, have iron. And these are amazingly high in fiber. So that's what we are actually needing more of, more so than protein and all of the other stuff. We are a nation deficient in fiber. This is gonna help with digestion. It's gonna feed your gut microbiome helping to increase healthy probiotic gut flora, which means better glowing, brighter skin, better digestion, better elimination, more energy. The list goes on and on. Before I was plant-based, I was obsessed with fiber and counting grams of fiber, eating so many weird processed fiber cereals and bars and yogurts when all I needed to do was start shopping in the produce section, in the bulk bins, stocking up on all of the plant foods. Because you guys, every single plant contains fiber and zero animal products contain fiber. Not meat, not dairy, not eggs. What they do contain is a lot of cholesterol and saturated fat 
and other things that are going to impact your heart health, your blood pressure, everything. So bean burgers, veggie burgers, plants for the win. You can still get your veggie fix without having to slice and dice veggies and adding them into your patties because we're gonna add all the fixins to our final burger. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt to the top of each burger, pop them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes, flipping halfway through. While the burgers are in the oven, I'm gonna soak a half cup of raw cashews. I just tend to eyeball it for our secret sauce. So honestly, if it was me on the go, like I typically bring brownies or muffins, you could also just bring this with you. You could crumble it and put it on a salad or into a taco or burrito. They're very versatile. Or you could even make meatballs with them. Now I'm going to slice all of our fixins. We've got lettuce, tomato, onion, avocado, pickles, ketchup, and if you're a fan like me, sauerkraut. If you are not doing gluten or wheat or buns, you could make a lettuce burger. So I drained and rinsed our soaked cashews, added them with fresh water to a mini blender cup, just enough so they're covered. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to taste, about one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, Sun Warrior again, and just a dusting of turmeric. This is mainly just for color. If you add too much, you'll get a taste, so add sparingly. Fun fact, black pepper actually activates turmeric's benefits in your body. So whenever you're using turmeric, be sure to add some pepper as well. It's a little bit soupier than I would normally make it. So we used Dave's Killer Bread Organic Buns. You can also use Ezekiel. That would probably be my pick, even though I'm not typically a bun person. So these are our best options because you can find them at so many different grocery stores. Hey kids! Come build your burgers. It'll be fun. It'll be like a little arts and crafts homeschool. You wanna build a burger? Burgers! And look at this. All the things to put on top of your burgers. Isn't that fun? Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. build one for a pretty picture and then you guys can help me style it out on our table outside with a hibiscus next to it. So just so you know, this is my food styling burger that's going to go in our app, which is why I am being extra careful <laughs> how I decorate this burger. You gotta get all the fixins towards the edge so you can capture those in the photo. That's the secret. All right, you guys, our burger is complete. The kids have already demolished theirs. If you like this recipe, if you can't wait to try it at your next grill out, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some love in the comments below. Be sure to get yourself some sweet potato wedges and don't forget your secret sauce. Join our monthly membership at 75% off, linked below to get instant access to our meal planner with this recipe and so many more. A couple weeks ago, we made an epic chipotle bowl with homemade vegan sofritas. We are doing so many fun things in our membership. And also check out Sun Warrior and get that 20% off code below. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. As I'm unmiking myself, we're about to head out the door for gymnastics for live tonight. Beforehand, I'm gonna make this epic Sun Warrior PB Choco protein shake for the kids. So if you guys wanna see Biv's Bev's, where she makes some delicious beverages and Max's snacks for some epic kid snack recipes. Comment below 